How's it going guys? It is Country Tactical and Mav back at it. And we're gonna be trying to make the World War I Ottoman uniform. Now it has been a while, but Halloween is coming back up. So we're gonna be making you some new uniforms in this new season of the uniform videos. We're excited, hope you guys are excited. And without further ado, let's go ahead and try to find the first thing, which is some footwear. Looks like they have putties or boots. What are they called again? Jack boots, yeah, jack boots. So we know where to look, Mav, turn around. Let's head this way to the water boots because they look great for jack boots. And as you can tell, we have some brown ones here. They look really good. Black ones, really tall ones, any that you can find. And they're all around $20, which is awesome. But I think we're gonna go ahead and get something like this for $20. Now we already have these at home, so we're just gonna save the money and use the ones at home. But if you're trying to make this uniform, get these black water boots. They're great. Or you can get the brown ones if you wanted. Both really good options. Next up is a shirt. shirt. We're looking for the shirt, so it needs to be long sleeve and around that color now we all know where to look mav we're experienced at this the long sleeves let's go i think we already know what we want this one what size mav pull uh, it up large. to you large that's extra large oh that's large right there i think that looks pretty fabulous mav oh. now how much is it 15.97 all right mav add this to the cart if we had one now what do we need uh, pants okay let's look around for some pants we're looking at the pants and these all seem to be kind of costly that's almost twenty dollars it looks the right color you know i think it looks pretty good color wise a little bit darker let's look around some more see if we can find a cheaper price these are all too expensive very sad 32 dollars. oh my gosh 32 bucks no Look way what, I found. what is that math i see low price from walmart 15 bucks for these wow i like how they look raggedy they look like they've been in the desert you know what i'm saying no offense to anyone who wears these they don't look, <laughs> they don't look that raggedy <laughs> they just look like they'd be in the desert or like military <laughs> clothing because it's loose and baggy. All right, hold it up. Matt, that matches the shirt almost perfectly. Yeah. Wow, that looks really it's freaking good. It's darker, but like during World War One, they would all have different colored tunics. Because dyes weren't always consistent and they didn't always have enough and stuff like that. Exactly. And, anyways, Matt, um, will that fit you? <laughs> yeah, no, this works fine. Okay, so we got the pants and we got the shirt. The pants were $15. That's not bad. So, so far around $30, $32. Uh, now what do we need? No, no, no. Belt. That will come last. We need belt, belt and suspendies. Now we're at the belts. Let's see how much they cost. Maybe they've gone up because of COVID. Oh my gosh, 16 bucks. But that is Wrangler. These are always cheap. I know they're cheap. $10. I know some of them are $7. They're just harder to find. This one, I remember this one's like $7 when we got it a long time ago. Oh, yep. It is still $7. This is the perfect belt. Mav, do we have one of these at home? I think we do. Since we already have this at home, we're just going to use the one at home. But if you do want to make this uniform, it is only $7. Not bad. Has not changed price since last year. Okay, Mav, what do we need? Suspenders? I would say that's optional. We're going to say it's optional if you want suspenders, but we're going to go ahead and look at the price of them. They're nine bucks like usual. Not bad. Probably have some at home. If we think it looks good, we'll add it to it. But remember, $9. Mav, what do we need now? Uh, we need the fez. The fez. What is a fez map? Tell them. The fez was a hat that Turks would wear quite often, and it was pretty symbolic in Middle Eastern culture. Let's go find something. Now, those baseball caps suck, so we're going to go to the women's section. All the females' hats, there's just so much more options with them. Like that right there. So this is a fez. Now, we came across, what are these hats called? White girl hats. <laughs> yeah, something like that. Anyways, what I'm thinking is we could cut off the brim and use the top as sort of a fez. See, I think this is a little too dark of red. We want to make it lighter. What are we going to do that? How are we going to do that? Creativity. How are we going to make this lighter red map? I don't work well under pressure. We're going to use spray paint. Okay, so. spray paint. We're going to yeah. use spray paint. Let's head to the spray paint section, which is that way. So, oh, by the way, this is $9. It is on clearance, which is just great. We can love Walmart. No, oh my gosh. Well, where's the red? It's over here. <laughs> oh, you saw red? Still too dark of a red, I think. Why is our Walmart all sold out of paint? When I went to the beach, like two months ago and i came up to the freaking walmart to try to spray paint the van it was all out like this like what's up with the paint is there a paint shortage or something I, it wouldn't surprise me there's also a wood shortage I'm guessing there's a paint shortage so if we can't find any paint we'll try to go to a different store but if we can't find any paint we're just gonna leave it that color if you do find the paint it's good for you <laughs> matt what is this Hold up. No, it's kind of orange though. I, I think that would look great actually. Look oh, this together. is fire red. Okay, thankfully we found one like section of red right here on the low price. Yeah, this should work for the red. We got all the stuff. The rest is at home waiting. We're gonna go ahead and check out and assemble this uniform for the first time in almost a year. So really excited for this video. Mav is so excited, he can't wait. Dang, look how excited Mav is. <laughs> he can't wait to get home. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Drive! Okay. God damn, I need to chill the fuck out. It's people are looking at it. I want to do it! Drive! Ah. 
Okay. I'm so ready to make this freaking uniform. <laughs> Mab, chill out. We'll get there eventually. Okay, guys, so we got the shirt, pants, hat, red spray paint, the belt and suspenders, which we have already set up, and the boots here. We're gonna look at the prices. This is $16, this is $15, $9, $7, $9. The spray paint's about $4, and the boots are $20. Now, the total price of all this stuff comes up to around $80. So, not too hefty, but not too bad. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. Putting the pants on. Looks really good. I think it, yeah. yeah, it's decent. I think they're very nice color and they fit very well and they're very comfortable. Next up is the shirt. One man, one myth, one legend must put on a Wrangler shirt from Walmart to act like he's from a long dead empire. One man must put on a shirt so that Turkish nationalists will like the video. So remember to thumbs up. Can we get 19, eight, wait, when was the Ottoman Empire formed? Like 1500s, 1400s? Can we get 1500 likes, please? I hope that's accurate. Uh, it's probably a lot later than that. Turkish, the Ottoman Empire has been around for like a long time. All right, let's just get 1500 likes. Wow, that's looking pretty good. Is it comfortable, Mav? Yeah, it's, it's wow, really I'm soft. liking it. Yeah. I'm excited. Mav looking good. Like, he looks like he can go fight in the uh, Gallipoli. Gallipoli. Next up, we have the belt. Let's go. So far, that's looking pretty Ottoman. I, I think that's pretty... <laughs> the belt's just so tight around you, man. Alrighty, so I made a little hole right there to add some room for Mav. Thank you. Now for the... Jack boots. Now for the other boot. Wow. Now we need to make the fez. fez. We're gonna cut this bit off the, the brim and we're gonna spray paint the top. So let's go ahead and do that. Begin with, this is the fez. Now, why did they have these? It's just a hat that they wore in Turkey and it was pretty culturally significant. How you know a Turkish man is Turkish is with the fez. How you know a cowboy is a cowboy is with the cowboy hat. <sighs> wow. Are you looking ready for Mavi Patty? Put, put, put. The most fezes had like a little bit of felt right here. Is it black? Head. Yeah. Now for the fire red red paint. Ooh. Ooh. It's changed. It looks nice. Wow. Good color. And it has a texture and everything. I like that. All right, we're gonna let that dry and try another coat on it. In a bit. So we're gonna go ahead and put the little tassel. Just gonna tape it on there with a little bit of tape we found lying around. Alrighty, yeah, that's perfect. While making this, I did a little bit of research on it and turns out Sultanate Mahmud II ordered these so men could pray easier than they could whenever they just wore the turban. And then it just became kind of uh, fashionable in a way. It looks good on you, Matt. We're gonna take a quick look with the suspenders, see how they look when it's on the uniform. The suspenders are looking really good. I think we're gonna keep with them. Oh my gosh, looking like a true Ottoman. I think the, what is it called? Fez. The Fez turned out really good. For $80, you can have the Ottoman uniform from Walmart. I think that looks really good. If you guys like this uniform, comment what we should do next. Also, shout out to the Patreon supporters. They help us make these videos and help with the funding. So, appreciate that. And if you want to support, links are in the description. Remember to get this video to how many likes? Uh, 1,500. Yes. And you can join the Ottoman army. Like, all of that just went together so well. The mm -hmm. tassel literally came from this hat. Also, remember to follow the Instagram. Fighting in Gallipoli.